Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, the solar storm is dropping back down. We've got a couple notes on that and three other top science stories, but we're going to start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Quiet rains the last day. In fact, since the big eruption that sent the solar storm to Earth, there's been a definitive lack of eruptions. Solar flaring walked down an impulsive nature to baseline emissions. Filaments are the top eruptive threat as sunspots are turning towards the limb, and solar flaring returns to ambient quiet range here on the GOES X-ray flux. Those filaments are numerous. There is a small one threatening the active region, but bigger ones incoming on the left side. We'll keep a close eye on those in the days ahead as they directly face the Earth, and we already saw a touch of instability inside that big one. Looking at the solar wind, purple line second from the bottom does a good job showing how the speedy shockwave arrives and now is waning back in the wake. The solar storm conditions have jumped around a bit since yesterday, but we're still in the reverberations here today. Aurora hit mid-latitude in this event, that's Missouri from spaceweather.com, and another here from New Mexico, not your usual auroral stomping ground. Now, yesterday we mentioned how the impacts of the solar storm last for a few days after it ends, and sadly it was today that I discovered the storm time ionospheric correction model data is one of the NOAA budget cut casualties. That's okay. We can look back to the May 2024 storm corrections to get an idea. Main storm phases lasted only about 36 hours, but the ionosphere and magnetic stability took three days to get back to normal. So in terms of technological induction and disruption, atmospheric forcing, and biological impact, expect potential impacts of this electromagnetic solar storm injection to Earth to continue for a couple days after this chart goes green and stays there. First article is about gamma ray lightning. Using a trifecta of instruments, they caught the leader meet and resulting electron acceleration release of gamma rays. Expect that to get worse, by the way, as the magnetic field continues weakening, which allows more space energy excitement of lightning. Up next, a touch of eye candy. They have spotted a plasma bridge in glow mode, and it's connecting galaxies spread by a huge distance in space. Remember, cosmology fans, there are no islands out there. Everything is connected, even if it's hard to see. Now, last but not least, excellent study here looking directly at the solar impact on the Schumann resonance. They describe how the peak frequencies change during enhanced solar activity, which makes sense, since it's well known that solar activity impacts the global electric circuit, lightning, atmospheric ionization, and the ionospheric height and density. By the way, this also takes amplification as we lose our magnetic shield here amidst the ongoing pole shift. Folks, the full schedule for the rest of the year at Observer Ranch is set. This is June. We have big events pretty much every single weekend. By the way, domes are the most common survival shelter, and we're going to literally make one this coming weekend. The rest of the year is full of awesome experiences, too. Don't forget, we also have some of the largest sites of any RV park in the country, and we are Tier 1 kid-friendly. Lots for them to do. Come out and see us. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. And folks, Observer Review RE Magazine, two-year anniversary special edition on catastrophism studies, comes out this afternoon. When you sign up, you get two issues every month, access to the full library of past issues. Observer Review is the only publication on Earth dedicated to the ongoing magnetic pole shift, the Earth disaster cycle, and space weather forcing of our world. Links are below, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.